157, that's Anthony Ralph, the redshirt sophomore from Kent State, eight and two this year. He was four and three last year until a knee injury sidelined him. He's up against the senior from Cleveland State, Brandon Gibbs, two and four this year, coming off a 14 and 16 season last year. Uh, victory by Ralph, a regular decision would, would tie the match at 15, and there would be some equity, I guess. 15-15 <laughs> all, but Cleveland State once more, obviously. Oh! <laughs> Ralph, a two-time state champ at Chanel High School. A decision would tie it. Should he get a major or a technical fall or a pin, that would give the victory to Kent, pouring it out at the end. And how many times have uh, these boys ever been in a position to decide a match? Which is, as we noted at the top of the show, the interesting concept in college wrestling. Nice shot by Ralph. He's just got to finish. He's got to pop those legs off. Or sit back towards uh, Brandon Gibbs' Gibbs' head. Gibbs is looking for the stalemate and gets it. Gibbs a two-time state qualifier. He's 35 and seven his senior year at Uniontown Lake. Nice shot by Anthony. He's gotta come out that back door. Ralph does, it looks like he's gonna, gonna do that. Gibbs has gotta lock in the crotch so he can throw him over. Oh, and he's got it. And the takedown for Ralph makes it 2-0. 25 seconds to go in the period. Gives his older brother, Sean, an outstanding wrestler at Pitt. Both coaches now at the edge of the mat. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and they're out of bounds. <laughs> Lucky for that. There's Jack Efner. Of course, he's been a pitch yet the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Kent team standing. And the first period ends with Anthony Ralph leading 2-0. A little unorthodox and getting those legs in, but it gets the job done. Gibbs now wearing, trying to wear Ralph down. He escaped some fairly dangerous situations in the first period, trailing only by two. You know, and he put himself in those positions too, and he needs to be a little more cautious here with that got that arm locked up again. The ref letting it go. I heard a little uh, noise from Anthony Ralph, but he looks like he's coming out the back door. And now it's 4-0. 45 seconds to go in the second period. I'll tell you one thing that's great to see, Dan, there's only four Division I teams left in Ohio in wrestling. We now have Kent wrestling Ohio U in Cleveland State and Cleveland State wrestling Ohio U. At least there's a round robin among the three smaller schools now, which was absent for too many years. I think you're right, Brian. This is great for college wrestling. Look at the score. The whole match has been nip and tuck back and forth. Great wrestling. But again, it's gonna come down to that heavyweight match. Even if uh, Davey would have scored a, a bigger decision, that would be the difference in the match. Last 17 seconds. Gibbs has got to be careful here. Last 10. Last five. And it's going to end up a Anthony Ralph four to one victory. And a well-deserved tie for both teams at 50, each team winning five decisions. But a great match. Good match for college wrestling. Well, I said at the top of the show, it'd be